Padlets are visual boards for collecting, organizing, and presenting content. In this video series, we will show you the basics of Padlet. Padlet is a versatile tool, but our focus will be collaborating on a shared photo album. Imagine you are Leonardo da Vinci, and you want to collaborate with your peers on a photo album. This is how you can use Padlet to accomplish that. To get started, let's sign up for a new account. Go to padlet.com, click sign up, and select one of these login options. You can download the Padlet app for your phone or computer, but we'll be showing the web version. Once you've signed up, you will see the dashboard, which is where your Padlets will live. To begin your photo album, click Make a Padlet. We'll review all of these layouts later. For now, select the format wall. Don't worry about this settings panel, we'll come back to it later. There are many ways to post on your Padlet, including this plus button, but we'll get to that later too. The simplest way to add an image is to drag and drop it onto your Padlet. Add a subject and then click Publish. You can even drag and drop multiple images onto your Padlet at the same time. To collect your friends' photos, copy the link in your browser and send it to your friends so they can upload their own work. Let's wait for a few posts to appear. Once everyone has contributed, view each work up close. Click any image to open it in expanded view. You can navigate to the other posts using the arrows on your keyboard. Now you can admire everyone's work in your shared photo album. This was the quickest way to collaborate on Padlet. Keep watching to learn how to turn your simple photo album into a masterpiece like this. You made a photo album. The art looks great, but the rest of the Padlet doesn't reflect your style. Let's change that. You are Leonardo da Vinci, after all. Click the cog icon to return to the settings menu I told you not to worry about. Customize the heading of your Padlet by adding a title and description. The title will appear at the top of your Padlet, on your browser tab, and in the URL of your Padlet. The description will appear under the title in the header. Then search for an icon. Search through the preset icons or add a custom one. The icon will appear in the header and will be the favicon in your browser tab. Next, head to the appearance section to change your wallpaper. You can choose from over 100 preset wallpapers or add a custom one. When you select a wallpaper, the accent colors on your Padlet will automatically adjust to be beautiful. Once you've chosen your wallpaper, you can change the color scheme and font. Leo, you strike me as a guy who likes a nice serif font. Let's choose this one. Now that you've customized the appearance of your Padlet, we need to discuss one more thing, privacy. In general, there are two ways to share your Padlet. You can share the link or you can invite members via email. By default, anyone with the link to your Padlet can post on it. When you're working with a group of trusted peers, this default works great. But what happens if the link starts to get shared more widely? You want this album to be a private space. Let's adjust how you're sharing it to reflect that. To start, click the Share button and then change Privacy. The default privacy is secret, which means anyone with the link to your Padlet can access it. You shouldn't choose public, which would make it publicly available. You could go with password to password protect your work, but let's take it a step further and choose private. This means only users you invite via email can access your Padlet. Then return to the main share menu and click add members. When you invite someone, you choose how they can interact with your Padlet. Raphael and Donatello only need to be able to add new posts, so give them can write permissions. On the other hand, while he isn't your best friend, Michelangelo does have good taste. Give him can administer permissions, so he can help monitor and modify the Padlet. Now your Padlet is as beautiful as the work it contains and your work is secure. I'd call that a win renaissance Your friend Will asked for an invite so he can share a PDF of his latest play. Also, your buddy Wolfgang wants to share a recording of his symphony. Don't worry, Leo. Padlet supports more than just images. You can also post text, videos, audio files, documents, and websites. Let's start with Will's PDF. Remember the plus button I said we'd get back to? Click it. You can drag and drop the PDF onto the post.
or you can click the upload icon to search for your file. Once the PDF is published, you can read it without leaving the Padlet. The same goes for Word documents and other text files. On to Wolfgang's video. There are many options for adding videos to your Padlet. If you have a local copy, you can upload it just like the PDF. If the video is uploaded on YouTube, you can click the link icon and paste the link. Alternatively, you can search for the YouTube video directly from the Padlet. Just like PDFs, you can watch videos from within the Padlet. Now that we've added a document and a video, click the plus button and then click the three dots to reveal all of the options. If Wolfgang wants to add an audio recording of his new symphony, he can upload an MP3 file, record a new audio file with the audio recorder, or search for the recording on Spotify. If Will is designing costumes, he can add a link to online inspiration, take a photo with the camera, or search for images and websites. Plus, when inspiration strikes, you can add drawings too. Click Draw to create a drawing, or click I can't draw and enter a prompt to generate an image with AI. Just don't try to pass it off as your own work. Your friends will know. Since you can upload files, create content, or search for anything on Padlet, your album doesn't have to be limited to visual artists. You can invite writers, composers, and any creative types to share their work, and it will look beautiful. Your album is growing. Not all of the work is that good, though. Wouldn't it be nice to give some feedback? Before you give feedback, you'll want to know who posted what. Click the cog icon to return to the settings menu. Under Posting, enable Author and Timestamp. Now each post will be attributed to an author. Next, enhance collaboration by commenting on each other's work. From the same section of the settings menu, enable comments. Now you can leave feedback on each post. Finally, you can add reactions to your Padlet. From the settings menu, click Reactions and select a reaction type. You can grade, like, or rate posts out of five stars. For your album, choose Vote, which will allow everyone to vote on the posts. The good news is that you don't have to constantly check the Padlet for new posts. Since you created the Padlet, you'll be notified whenever new posts are added. You can also click the bell icon to open the activity panel and see a feed of the latest posts. That way, you can stay on top of new posts and give feedback quickly. Interacting with each other's work is a key part of collaboration. By commenting on and reacting to the work in your album, the quality of the work will improve. Just make sure your comments are constructive or else your friends might leave some feedback that will raise a few eyebrows. Well, not hers. Your album is filled with all kinds of creative work. There are photos, drawings, plays, and symphonies. As your album grows, you should give it order and structure so you can make sense of all the work it contains. First, open the settings menu and enable group posts by section. With sections, you can group your posts however you want. For your album, it makes sense to group by subject matter and medium. Once you create your sections, drag and drop your posts into the correct place. Now your album has more structure, but it still lacks order. You can drag and drop your posts into any order you want, but you can also sort them automatically. Return to the settings menu and click sort. You can sort posts randomly, alphabetically, or by date published. For your album, you should sort by votes. That way, the most popular pieces will rise to the top. When you first made your Padlet, you chose the most popular format, Wall. But other formats might be a better fit for your album now. To change the format of your Padlet, click the three dots in the action bar and then change format. With Stream, your posts appear in a top to bottom feed. 
With Grid, your posts are arranged in rows of boxes. With Map, your posts appear on a map of the world. With Canvas, you can arrange your posts however you want. With Timeline, your posts are arranged in a left to right line. After seeing all of the options, I think Wall actually looks the best. Let's stick with Wall. If you want to look through the entire Padlet, scroll through each section to view its posts. If you are looking for a specific post, you can also use Search and Filter. Click the search bar or use the keyboard shortcut Command F. Search by keyword or filter to find posts from a specific author. Your original album had the same content, but the chaos was a bit distracting. Now that you've organized your album, everyone will be able to focus on the beauty it holds. You've created a collaborative photo album on Padlet. Good job, Leo. Your task is done, and now you can admire everyone's work. You could stop there, but here's how you can do a little more with your finished album. If you want a copy of something, open the post in Expanded View, click the three dots, and download the content. If your group gets together and you want to present everyone's work, use Slideshow. When you click the Slideshow button, your Padlet will transform into a beautiful presentation. The color scheme will match your wallpaper, and the title slide will display the information in your Padlet header. Each section name and post will become its own slide. You can navigate with the arrows on your keyboard. You can also click the play button to autoplay your slides. If you're done collecting submissions and want to share your album with an even larger audience, change the privacy to public so anyone can access the album. Then change the visitor permissions to can read so no one can add any more posts. You can also embed it on a different site. From the share menu, copy the embed code so you can display your album on your blog or website. If you want a local copy of your Padlet, export it as an image. Under export, click save as image. Now you have a bird's eye view of your entire album. In this video series, we used Padlet to create a collaborative photo album, but you can use Padlet to create just about anything. If you need to collect, organize, or present content, Padlet is a simple and beautiful way to do it.